Hey there! Hey guys, I'm Chris. I'm Alex and we are... We're with Heart and Coal. We are here today in beautiful, amazing Oceano Beach, California. Uh, Gorgeous. It's wonderful. So that's the ocean that you hear in the background. I apologize for the background noise. <laughs> uh, today, we're going to be covering 20 different things that we have found to be useful in our full-time RV adventure. We are talking today about the things that we are using on a day-to-day -day basis that we have packed into our RV as a must-have. Okay, so uh, we are a full-time travel family living in our fifth wheel. We would love to have you subscribe and follow our adventures along. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. So what you see here in front of us is your super basic stuff that you need for RVing. And honestly, this is not what we're gonna be talking about today. This is the stuff that you're gonna take with you no matter what. It's still important, but it is not what we find as the extra useful hints. Uh, these are just the no-duh basics of RVing. Yeah, this is stuff that you have to have, uh, except for this. We've had, honestly never used this. Um, but yeah. water hose, water filter, leveling blocks, power adapters, all this stuff. Hey. I wish this was hooked up. <laughs> Thanks. Is 100% totally useful, but not what we're going to be talking about. So we're going to break this video into two different sections. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the first section is going to be interior RV stuff, kind of household items that my lovely wife Alex here will be talking about. The second section is going to be more tools and um, kind of mechanic-y related items that I have found to be really useful to have on the road as well. Sure, yeah. Okay. Let's start. Inside. Okay, so hooks. Hooks are really important because the RV doesn't necessarily have hooks when you need it or want them. The number 20 item. Woohoo! <laughs> so, the couple things that are the best are the S hooks. These hook on to all sorts of uh, like outside our pantry, onto ladders. You can move them outside. They're not permanent. They go in your closet. Uh, they're great for drying laundry, all sorts of stuff. Magnetic hooks. There are a lot of things that are magnetic on a trailer. It's very helpful to have these hooks so that way you don't have to put like permanent things up. Uh, and you can use them all over. I have them on the fridge. They're, they're great. Otherwise, your basic 3M hooks, they stick. You can move them, remove them. Um, they normally always last. Uh, they last for a while and they make it through transport, which is very helpful. Not all the time though. We come in and there are some things that have fallen down, but it happens. Next. What's that? <laughs> 19. This is a little mini dust pan uh, and dust broom. This is awesome. I use it all over the trailer. You can uh, when you're boondocking, you don't necessarily have the power for a vacuum, so I don't use it all the time. Good old broom, dustpan sweep. That is the way to go. Next, foldable ladder. This foldable ladder folds down, obviously, and stores flat. This is super, super helpful. Uh, you can put it away when you don't need it, which is awesome because, you know, in an RV, you don't have a ton of room. Um, bring it out. We use it. The boys use it. I use it. It's a little bit shorter. These are motion detector lights. You screw the inside onto the wall and then this is battery powered so you can remove them uh, and uh, re change the batteries. They are so useful uh, when it's dark and you just want to come in the RV and you don't want to turn on lights, especially a problem when you're boondocking and you want to save your battery. Uh, we have one on our entrance door and then we have one in our bathroom. I think the bathroom one is the best because whenever you have to use the restroom in the middle of the night, don't want to turn on the light, wake people up. This provides enough, enough light that you can see, but it isn't super ridiculously bright, I guess. The good old trusty Titan strap. I use these things for a number of, uh, number of things. Either to strap the kids' bikes to the car, to strap the handles closed on our RV fridge. As you know, our little latch does not work. 
I am tired of walking in and seeing my eggs all over the floor. So I tighten, I tighten strap the fridge shut every time that we move. Headlamp. Headlamp is always a good thing. One, it's a great safety measure for when you run out of battery, let's say. Your RV doesn't have enough to make it through the day, and at night you need to get around and do something outside. This is the Black Diamond Cosmo. It's $25. Definitely should add it to your emergency kit. Just have it around. We hang it right inside where our panel is, so that way if we need to find it, it's very accessible. Bungee cords! We went ahead and bought a multi-pack of bungee cords because you never know what you need to have stick together. Uh, I use a lot of these when we are moving the RV from one place to another. We go down bouncy roads, we go down dirt roads. These are very, very helpful. Uh, all sorts of shapes and sizes are great to have. We use them constantly. So, hangable lanterns. These are the Black Diamond Moji, and they are battery-powered LED light. Well, you can't really see it in the day. Um, they have a button on the side. Very, very helpful, especially when you're boondocking and you need extra light. I hang these above, you know, the, uh, the range to help me see what I'm doing when I'm cooking. The boys normally have one in their bed that they can use if they need to have light in the middle of the night. There's a couple of companies that have little inflatable solar lanterns, and we'll also list those. I don't, per we don't personally have those, but I've seen a ton of people use them and they look great. Those are on my Christmas list this year. Hint, hint, cough, cough. Uh, these work really well too, but they are battery powered. Sometimes the solar can be really nice. These are $20 a pop. Um, and they, they're very, very useful. The fact that you can hang them, they have two hooks, so it has a closed area, so if you are moving, this won't fall off. I don't know what number we are on, but for the inside stuff, this is gaff tape. It's very useful, same with duct tape. We use this tape to protect a lot of things in the RV. Uh, it's on the, the corner of shelves, so they don't get nicked and scratch. You can buy a roll of this, Small roll is about 10 bucks. Um, now, the advantage of gaff tape over duct, duct tape. tape. Yeah, there is definitely a difference. Is the adhesive on this does not leave residue behind. So. Yeah, your duct tape is, is cheaper, but it is going to ruin more. You're going to have to go around and clean it all off with uh, acetone if you want to get that stuff off. Yeah, and, this it's, is super and it's a lot stickier and it'll tend to pull the finish of your. Uh, woodwork on the inside of your trailer off when you go to remove it, this stuff will not. You should be able to leave this on there. We've had spots uh, that we've used it to protect for a number of months now, and we can go in and peel it off. No residue, no peeling up of the un underlying wood or anything. So. Yeah, we've put it on some of the drawers where we have um, hung stuff for extra storage, like under the sink. Uh, things that just get a lot of wear and tear. Yeah, uh, this I, is helpful to keep it. High use areas. Um, we have the lovely dark brown interior, so honestly, this stuff blends in. You almost don't even know it's there. Yeah, you don't really notice it. So. If you've got a remodeled RV where things are nice and white and pretty inside, then this probably is not the best option. Um, so there's three items that we don't have with us that we are going to be buying very shortly for the trailer. Um, solar lanterns? So, <laughs> no, I did hear that. No, not solar lanterns. Um, rechargeable Amazon batteries. Yes. Both double A and triple A. We'll have a link down below for basically all of this stuff. Um, but those are a must have. We burn through way so too many, many batteries. batteries. And for the same price or a little bit more than your regular disposable batteries, you can get rechargeables. Plus they're much better for the environment. It really, really. All that stuff hurts my soul a little bit when I throw out batteries or have to yeah. put them in the recycle bin because we use them for what a couple hours or something got left on that shouldn't have so definitely rechargeable batteries the other is a large outdoor rug to go in front of our door being here at the beach especially 
really, really wish we had something that we could walk onto before we walk into the trailer. Yeah. That's happened in the desert, the where rocks, it's muddy, mud. you name it. Having a rug outside the front of your trailer to help keep dirt from going into the trailer is a must have. I yeah, we originally did not get one or pack one because we were trying to be a little bit more minimal. And now that we've been doing this for a little we, bit, we realize it is a see must have. Um, the last one that's on my list that was kind of for inside-ish related stuff was um, an extra water hose. Now, really? Yeah, it was a collapsible water hose. So we have a 50-foot hose uh, that's our normal drinking water hose that you saw here earlier. Um, and we left our other collapsible hose at our friend's house, otherwise I would show it to you. But it's one of these that folds down really small. Oh, uh, the green ones that are like yeah. they sneak up. And so there have been multiple times that we've found that water is decently far away and having that uh, ability to have 100 feet worth of hose yeah, can to be fill really up useful. your water tank can be really useful when you need it. It's kind of few and far between when you do, but when you need it, it's really handy. Next thing that's kind of an indoor outdoor, very, very useful. Ah, yes. We love this product. I will be right back. As you see, it's been well used and loved. This is the Jackery. This power unit has all sorts of adapters, USB plugs, regular plugs, cigarette outlet, the input display. It is a portable, also has a flashlight, it's a portable battery pack. It's a lithium battery. It's a hundred. I believe this is this is a 500 watt. So this is their 500 model. Um, they have uh, this is kind of their higher end, bigger model that has a little bit more power storage. Um, you can get a solar panel that is a hundred watt solar panel that folds out to charge it. Um, so honestly, this setup for us boondocking has been amazing. We have solar to recharge our battery bank and our RV, but because it's laid flat on our roof right now in the middle of winter, we're not getting a really good charge rate. So having an extra solar panel that we can use this to charge our computers and our phones and any of that other small electronics to help reduce the drain in our batteries to make everything go just a little bit longer so we run our generator a little bit less has been incredibly helpful. These are around four hundred dollars. Yeah, now that we've been. And this is like hundred and fifty. So all told, this is a fairly expensive setup. Oh, but it's totally worth it. It is amazingly worth it. Durability-wise, on this solar panel, a quick um, anecdotal. I do not recommend this, but um, Christopher left it on our dock over the summer to charge. It got blown off of the dock and washed into the lake. It, now this was fresh water but it was in a rough shore situation on the beach, getting washed ashore for over an hour, fully submerged. Yeah. Um, Don't do this at home. <laughs> I figured it was garbage after that. Yeah. I planned on throwing it out, threw it on the roof of our cottage, got it nice and dry and hot. It works 100% great. I cannot believe it. So, it's amazing. Um, Again, don't recommend leaving it out in the rain for whatever reason, but this thing... It's not gonna charge in the rain. No, it won't. Ahead. This thing worked amazingly well. Okay. Uh, Probably one of my favorites. Should we move on to the tools? And the wagon. I didn't do the wagon. Does it okay. fit on the table? No. No, it does not fit not on quite. the table. This wagon is seen better days. We've used it a whole ton. It's a collapsible wagon. No, it fits on the table. Wonderful. Uh, this has basically replaced our stroller. Uh, it, I take it shopping, grocery shopping. We drag the kids around in it. I mean, you name it, this thing is useful. The fact that it folds up this small. You have to take your trash out to the trash bin at the RV park. Or... Yeah, um, I either keep it under the bed, under the kind of garage area of the trailer or in the back of the truck. Okay. Oh, the table that it's sitting on. Why don't you move that? Okay. This is a collapsible REA, REI, no, not REI. REI table. Oh, yeah, it's REI. Table. Okay, this is a collapsible REI table. It is very lightweight, as you can see. We love to be outside, especially when we have the back patio down. 
um, this, sitting out there eating dinner. This collapses down smaller than some of the other just cheap white folding tables that you can get. This packs yeah. down pretty small. This I mean, actually. It's not like a backpack camping table that really no. packs down, but it's it packs down fairly fairly good so we can put it in our under storage and yeah. it doesn't take up that much room. Yeah. Up to you, tools. Sweet. Can you be my Vanna White and bring them over? I can do me? that. Section two of this video, we're gonna be talking about tools. Huh. And I guess DeWalt power tools are gonna to be my first uh, item. This flashlight is super handy. Uh, I believe it's around 70 bucks. It can stand on its own. It is crazy, crazy bright. Uh, so if you do ever have to do any roadside maintenance, you can set this up. Uh, I believe it has a blinking mode where you can set it up facing behind you if it's at night to warn people that you're there along with the flashes on your trailer. Um, it all kind around, of looks like a flare. Kind of, yeah. yeah. All around having a big, powerful flashlight, super, super handy along with all the other smaller flashlights. Um, these other two items, are a bit more, let's call it homeowner style for what a lot of people would think. I have found having these two impacts with us on the road to be incredibly useful. Um, this one, a good old tire iron will definitely do what this accomplishes, but when you have uh, six tires on here, six tires on my truck and four tires on our car, it's a lot of wheels to take off. We do do our own tire rotation, some brake maintenance, and a few other things. So, um, we also blow tires. If, if it, this one you could maybe do without, uh, if all you're gonna have is something to change a tire, but to have a good heavy duty half inch impact drive um, is unbelievably useful. If you have the space, highly recommend it quarter inch impact driver, um, just for miscellaneous maintenance, taking screws in and out. Um, it's a pain in the butt using a hand screwdriver, turning screws all the time. So this thing, super handy. These three things, as far as DeWalt, let's say power tools, are my highly, highly recommended uh, items. Okay, next up is a toe strap. Uh, this is a must have. As far as I'm concerned, a toe strap is a must have in any vehicle, regardless if you're RVing or not. Um, as you can see, our toe strap has been very, very well used. Um, some of these instances were actually not for towing vehicles, it was for towing other stuff. Um, but a two inch or three inch wide, heavy duty toe strap, 110% absolutely necessary. Um, here again, we're on the sand right now. If I go to pull out of here, um, it could very well be using this. Uh, if you want to check out this video right here, used it the last time we drove on the beach because I got stuck. Uh, this guy, a three quarter inch shackle. I believe this is a three quarter. Oh no, this is a seven eight, seven eighths inch shackle. Anyways, this is more like crane rigging type stuff. You would get this at a construction supply house. Um, or some tow strap kits come with these, but basically having one of these would allow you to connect two straps together. I've been in one scenario where having a truck further away than your 20 feet was very necessary. Um, and also my preference is this webbing loop. I do not like the metal hook permanently attached to the end of the toe strap. Um, the reason being is, is it limits where you can hook a toe strap to uh, pretty dramatically. This, you can girth hitch it around the axle of a car, you can loop it over a trailer hitch, you can do all sorts of stuff where if you have that metal hook, metal hook is super limiting to like just hook a toe hook. Um, or you'd have to wrap the strap around and hope that your hook hangs on your strap until you pull it tight if you're hooking to a, uh, to a trailer hitch. So, totally recommend this. Um, not totally necessary, but there again, definitely handy if you have the extra space. The next item is jumper cables. Uh, here again, a my personal opinion, a must have for 
just cars or vehicles in general, your battery dies, you need jumper cables. I'll be quick with this one. Good heavy gauge, 20 foot long jumper cable, crazy helpful. The little short eight footers, nine times out of 10, is not gonna do you any good. So spend the money, honestly, I think uh, you can get a pair of 20 foot jumper cables for like 20 bucks on Amazon right now. So links down here. Next one, bottle jack. I've got a 20 ton bottle jack. This is a little overkill for lifting either trailer or truck. Um, the reason I like bottle jack, you could probably get an eight ton bottle jack and be just fine. Um, our trailer did not come with a jack of any form and the jack to jack up our truck could probably do it. But if you have a smaller vehicle, typically the jacks that come with your vehicles are designed to meet the, like, the minimum weight necessary to lift that vehicle which is not gonna be enough to deal with the trailer. So having a secondary bottle jack, where you can slide this under to fix tires on the side of the road, crazy helpful. These things work way faster and a lot more efficient than the hand crank, screw type uh, jacks that you get for your vehicles. So Also, when, you're, when your jack's on the trailer brake. Ha, <laughs> good point. Check this video out if you want to see another time when we use this bottle jack because our front leg jack bro. The next item that I find to be super handy to have um, is a 100 foot 110 power cord. This is maybe a little bit more geared towards being full time. If you're just going to be spending time in RV parks where you know, you're, know that you have power close by, again, maybe not totally necessary. Uh, but we've stayed at friends' houses doing some mooch docking. We're having a 100-foot power cord to run up to their house from the sidewalk. Been super, super handy. Uh, if you're going to get a power cord like this to power your RV, get a 10 or a 12-gauge cord. Spend the money to get a good, thick, heavy cord because you are going to be pulling a fair amount of amperage if you're plugging your RV in. Again, this would be one of those if you're doing RV parks exclusively, uh, you're probably going to be good with the power cord that came with your trailer. Um, but I've used this to plug into our trailer when we've had the generator running so that I can use some power tools to do some work on the trailer. Found it super helpful to have this around. Again, space dependent. Uh, you might be able to eliminate the need for this or you could go a smaller 25 or 50 foot cord. But super handy when, the, when necessary. One of the last things that I would recommend to have for doing RV stuff is an air compressor and an air gauge. Uh, there's a couple different routes you can go with this. The reason that we have this is that we have an onboard generator on our trailer. So it's incredibly easy for me to go in, push the power switch, turn the generator on, and have readily available 110 power. So we opted to go with a, a small pancake compressor so that I have a little bit more air to deal with the 16 or 20 some odd tires that we have. We have airbags in the back of my dually that I use this to fill up. For those of you that don't have an onboard generator like we do, Vi Air makes some great, great products. I had one of their uh, air compressors installed kind of permanently on a truck of mine in the past. Worked wonderfully. They make some little portable kits that are cigarette lighter adapter, adaptable, um, 12 volt power. Um, regardless of what you do when you're doing this, your tires are essentially your life to be able to move. You need to make sure that you check them constantly. Uh, and for that, this is my personal preference on air gauge. Um, it's a, the ability to fill and check your pressure all at the same time. You can also let air out. Last thing is a collapsible shovel of some form. Uh, this is a lifelink snow shovel. Uh, it can be used for various uh, different things. Um, having something to dig yourselves out if you get stuck. I have used this uh, when we got stuck in the sand dunes, sand dunes beach area when we were near Lake Powell. Uh, the kids play with this. They're just all around super handy to have. Uh, yeah, we actually have a couple of them. I have my Abby shovel with me. I keep it in my car just in case. And you have your Abby shovel. Yeah. They're super handy to have. They're, they pack down really small. The kids can play with it. Thank you for watching this. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, hopefully that was some useful information that you can find some of that stuff uh, help you guys along on your adventures. 
If there's anything that you guys have found terribly useful that we missed or skipped, I'd love to hear from you if you have any other ideas. Love some good recommendations. Yeah, always up for stuff to make our lives a little easier while we're on the road. Uh, don't forget, subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, and make sure to uh, keep in touch and follow us along on our adventures as we continue to travel the country. See you on the road. See ya.